Our next speaker is a published author and previous film critic and writer. He's lived in Turkey, Australia, US, and Canada. He's now firmly positioned in Vancouver, and we can all reap the benefits as he becomes one of our city's leading chocolatiers. He's known for his one-of-a-kind chocolate creations at Kitsilano's newest chocolate shop, Coco Monk Chocolates. And for all of you tonight, on your ticket, don't lose your ticket, in very, very, very small writing on the very bottom is a little uh, special treat for you to go into Coco Monk and uh, retrieve. So keep those handy. Uh, his postmodern chocolates are made with sophisticated flavor combinations and unique textures inspired by his comprehensive background in education in fine art, literature, and philosophy, reflecting the 20th century avant-garde art movements. Please welcome Paul Dinser. Hello, everybody. My name is Paul Dinser, and I'm a professional writer and chocolatier, and I combine these two disciplines when I'm creating my recipes. I trespass between the borders of uh, savory and sweet, between the borders of uh, intellect and taste buds, and I call this postmodern chocolate making. I start my journey in Turkey as a writer, and the fact that I have to publish two books in a year in order to be able to survive make me to realize that I have to uh, figure out how to make money. So I decided to uh, move to Australia to get a master's degree in business uh, information systems. But I forgot one little details <laughs> that I didn't make this research before I make my, uh, before I pay my tuition fee. So, dazed and confused, I decided to uh, combine my creative, creative background with something tangible. So I enrolled to a uh, culinary school for pastry art, and I was good at it. So the college that I studied wanted me to stay in their uh, training school, and later they also offered me a teaching position. And while I was teaching, some strange things happened. I met with a lot of uh, European chefs in various international uh, workshops. And because I used, to, uh, I used to structure my creative works based on literary and uh, philosophical theories, it was very difficult to, uh, for these chefs to understand my weird uh, recipes. So, to combining different things for me is creating different meanings, new meanings beyond their functional existence. In this juxtaposition, for example, the, the dance between the fire and water creates or underlines the uh, impossible matrimony between eternally separated two entities. In here, I can clearly define that the fire is the tears of the water. So this is one of my earliest works, is uh, fresh watermelon chocolate with sea salt. And it is built on Hemingway's The Old Man and the Sea. And the thematic of the chocolate brings the form, the waves, the color, and the flavor. And academically, it is an impossible chocolate because you cannot make watermelon chocolate due to the high water content of the melon. And developing a thematic on food is like opening a door to an unknown land. And there's only one way that you will be able to get into this land if you are accepting the, the ingredients as a equal biological entities to human beings. And of course, this idea has its own challenge. And uh, you can either uh, follow up these opportunities, these, these challenges, and turn them into an opportunity. And it uh, will create a very unique way of interacting with the nature. Like Hemingway's old man, I strongly believe that we have to honor the different life forms on this planet. Or you can treat your ingredients, uh, you can uh, imprison them in traditions and customs of outdated schools of food making, or you can hold their hand and you can follow them to where they take you to reveal their secrets. And this is my all-time bestseller chocolate, blue cheese chocolate with candied pear. And it's built on John Schlesinger's movie, Midnight Cowboy. <laughs> and, 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 and like, the, and like the, the, the characters of the movie, 
the blue cheese in his stench and loudness reveal its uh, true nature without any hesitation, without hiding anything, and uh, impress you in its uniqueness. And these two chocolates are, uh, I am still only one in the world, it's a smoked chocolate with uh, three fresh tropical fruit and raspberry infused with 12 years of single malt scotch. This is a conceptual work rather than a thematic work. <laughs> and the, the context is built on this idea. Like you, I use uh, sensory stimulants to, to evoke certain memories in you. I create certain expectations and then I change the context. So through this uh, sensory, uh, the, the, uh, the sensory uh, stimulants, you expect certain things and then you start to taste when you have the chocolate in your mouth totally different way. Nothing goes according to your ex expectations. So the chocolates start to play with you, tease with you, and entertain you. And some of these chocolates can sing and dance better than the Zamin Ali. <laughs> since last hundred years, uh, the understanding of food and society uh, dramatically changed. And now we are more aware than ever that our eating habits are uh, political declaration and ethical stance against the uh, global system, pushy global system. And imagine 100 years ago, when we were going into any candy shop, none of these uh, concerns were in our minds. We were never concerned whether the, the uh, ingredients were organic or fair trade, whether they are genetically modified or not, whether they are sourced in a, a sustainable way or not, and now they are all part of our daily life. because the era that we are living is dramatically changing. And I am proud of working with uh, locally and sustainable uh, sourced ingredients in Vancouver in here. And if you want a real authentic experience with my chocolates, you have to slow down. You have to stop and remember how real things feel and taste. How the images of uh, Red Heart on product packages replace the unconditional love, how the images of war uh, replace the uh, democracy is exactly how food photography replaced the real foods on grocery shelves. The idea of food for eyes and for taste buds died on those shelves. And now we are living in a uh, different era and we are witnessing a monumental shift in a paradigm shift and this New understanding, this new era requires its own understanding of food. A food not just based on uh, eyes or taste buds, but based on our awareness that we are not the center of the universe and we are part of some, something way bigger than us, which is the planet. And thank you very much for uh, coming and joining us tonight and sharing this evening with us. Please keep your uh, ticket stops and don't forget to get your 20% discount in beautiful uh, Kistano shop of Coco Monk. Have a great evening. Thank you very, very much.